piece. <laughs> Think fast. I just had <laughs> a little uh, download come uh, come down about wrestling. You know, I had a little aha moment. But uh, I thought about like, if y'all familiar with wrestling, you know, you got the WWF Wrestling Federation. You got uh, what they used to have. So that's what I'm about to speak to. They used to have the WCW. And two, you realize how in everything they that just to set up from the the philosophy of you know illusion of choice to a certain extent you know where you know you got this wrestling federation you got this wrestling federation you got republicans you got democrats but they're both you know the same thing in essence but uh like in wcw you know uh you know they had what they call the new war new world order and like i forgot like how how like fanatic like all of us you know growing up were about like you know you had hulk hogan with the new world art and he had all the popular and hulk hogan is one of the most you know he, he matter of fact he was with wwf and moved to wcw he with that you know new world order and then they had the the separate new world order that that was led where they turned black and red and they were led by sting and steve nash and these other wrestlers you know but uh they they implemented that vibe within wrestling and you see how all these people in cahoots you know uh as far as from you know uh from the banks down to the media you know what i'm saying like and even media and platforms that you think people not trying to brainwash and fuck with you it's still being implemented because again they all in cahoots they all trying to keep up a certain lifestyle of controlling people so they're gonna work together you know like doing favors for each other you know but uh they promoted that to make the word new world order something that was acceptable you know because all of us walk around oh wolf pack a new world order man uh, new world order you know what i'm saying like <laughs> it had us uh in such a fanatical vibe dealing with you know uh something that they were pushing and if you're not familiar with the uh you know the new world order that the government is trying to promote what is one world government you know what i'm saying that's why that's how they try to use you know the spiritual uh our spiritual growth you know because we you know in our spiritual path we starting to learn that well everything is interconnected in one but we're not trying to have no one government you know ruling over us you know what i'm saying or ruling us at all you know we're not trying to be ruled by uh you know uh any of these you know govern government you know govern meaning steer you know something and meant mental you know govern your mental but they implemented this uh it's kind of like a less subconscious you know uh programming to make the word nwo or should i say make the word or the phrase new world order something that is more acceptable you know and again, you're not seeing it. Are you Hulk Hogan, man? The New World Order, man. That's all, uh, you know, not th forgetting that all this, like that. Safe why are you watching wrestling and New World all this and that? The the government people, who, you know, and trapping your ass is constantly working to even trap you even further into that hole. So why are you, you know, New World Order? You're not even paying attention that that's something that they're actually trying to put you into. You know, but you're like, oh man, look at such and such jump from the top row and, and subconscious programming where, you know, you're so into the the action of the wrestling, you know, like, oh man, you just jump from the top row, this and that. You're not really catching that constantly every day you're being showed NWA, I mean NWO New World Order, like constantly. Like, so regardless if you consciously paying attention to it, and even when saying it, you know, you're not really paying attention to it. You're just like, oh, you're just being like in the motion of it, you know. Well, again, the conscious mind being occupied, so the subconscious mind could be programmed. Back to the little, you know, on the movie Get Out, when she's stirring the tea, you know, that that's like a little distraction to catch the conscious mind. So the information could, you know, walk right into the subconscious mind, you know, uh, Got the name of the video I did recently. It's right after the Truman Show video I did, uh, but it's on the subconscious, and I speak on that. But again, like where the subconscious mind is basically like picture your subconscious mind being like a little house, you know. And inside that house, you got uh, two guard dogs, and those two guard dogs, or the guard dog, one guard dog, or two guard dogs. Either way, the guard dogs is the conscious mind. 
You know what I'm saying? But they guard the house like you ain't coming in this sub uh, kind, you know what I'm saying? But if I throw a bone, here boy, go look at this. <laughs> go look at the rest of jumping off the top rope. Go look at this part of the movie or this, you know what I'm saying? Look at the action in this movie. And then you, so conscious mind running toward that. And then that's when the suggestions to the subconscious mind able to, you know, go in more easily and freely, you know, uncontested in essence, you know. But that was the whole thing with that wrestling, new world, all the thing. And, and again, re reason why this video is important, because you're seeing all the different ways of how they constantly been trying to attack our subconscious mind from the beginning. Like the Holocaust was just practice. Like all they was doing with the Holocaust and uh, again, not not trying to. Uh, how can I say, you know, uh, be insensitive uh, towards the situation, but. Uh, is the reality of the situation, you know what I'm saying? Because again, we all been using some, whether it's Holocaust, slavery, whatever, whatever, you know, uh, been used in some type of way. But uh, what was I gonna say? <laughs> I was speaking of the Holocaust. Oh yeah, that's what they were practicing ahead of time for all this chemical warfare, psychological, like all this psychological warfare they're using today, Hitler put out there and they tested it with Hitler speaking on certain things back then and seeing how the people react or didn't react. And it was like, oh, all right. And next thing you know, because they said, like, it just came, like, you know, because people, and that was their practice. Like, the Holocaust was practice for what they're trying to do to America right now. You know, basically. <laughs> like, you know, uh, exactly, like, that's exactly what's going on. You know, uh, of course, with anything, you're going to modify it a, a little bit, but again uh it's coming the same way you know same way they use the tavistock institute to to uh implement or tavistock institute and you got theodore adorn adorno i think that's the name that uh worked with the beatles but he was also working for tavistock you know but implementing this social engineering this social construct you know this counterculture behavior you know to have people you know uh in this illusion, you know, where it had people, oh, I'm waking up, I'm spiritual, I'm helping, you know, I'm stopping the war in Vietnam by taking LSD and singing songs and playing the guitar. Like, well, nah, you really didn't, you know, because when we look back at the hippie movement, you know, if things are still going the same way they are now, then what did the hippie movement really do, you know? And it kind of, again, just proves, uh, how much it was a, just a little government side, like the hippie movement, you know, like, let's start this. And again, if it was so effective, <laughs> why are we still dealing with the same bullshit today? If that hippie movement, the way it was, was so powerful and strong and, well, you know, the way it was about love and peace sitting around it. What did it do? What did it do? You know, did it stop Alton Sterling from getting shot in back? <laughs> But again, though, it's the real, you know, again, uh, we got to, again, confronting things, too. You know, but not going to make this a long video. Again, just seeing those little subtleties and I, you know, growing up and stuff. And social engineering, that's what it's about. You know, it's, uh, it's setting up things before, like, so they, they, they sprinkling it. Like, say, for instance, they sprinkling information on us right now for how they want us to be thinking later on. I mean, the good thing about it now is we're waking up on such a, a high level that we're not gonna allow them to fuck over us this time. But, you know, uh, but it does take that true work though. You know what I'm saying? Now that we know, again, it's not about, uh, cause even before uh, coming across the information that really let me know how the new age movement was moving, you know, something always told me that I should never just sit and do completely nothing, you know? Like, uh, has to be some type of, uh, action. But, you know, as a matter of fact, and thinking about the wrestlers and stuff, too, you know, uh, also, you know, you have wrestlers running for office. You had Jesse Ventura be a, uh, what is it, like a governor or mayor at one time for Minnesota or something like that. You got, uh, Kane, uh, the Undertaker's brother, <laughs> you know, is a, uh, is a mayor or something of some town right now running for mayor, you know. In which again, I 
not saying that they running for office to implement the new world order, but uh, <laughs> you know, just you know, just seeing the connections. But uh, that's basically it. Peace. <laughs> Happy now. Now the vibrate, of course. Not going too far the future. Not going too far the past. Right now, matter of fact, and to follow up, you know, if you're unfamiliar, go check out my videos uh, on the Tavistock Institute. You know, the hippie movement, uh, LSD, MK Ultra, uh, like any of my videos lately that I did on those subjects is gonna, you know, help give further insight to that situation. Peace, peace.